Hey guys, welcome to another episode. And today we're doing another wonderful game brought to us by Game Tech. Yet another tie-in game to a TV show this time, which is gonna be the all Nickelodeon Double Dare. Let's see how bad this is and let's see if this can actually portray itself into, we're gonna go with one because, um, yeah. We'll see if this can actually translate into a game or not. What do we want to call in our team name? Let's go with... Fun. Sure, I don't know. For some reason, I have complete blank on a, any kind of interesting name. Would you like a new character? No, we're just going to go with it. Bad Bug. All right, toss-up challenge gorilla. Our double dare gorilla loves to catch bananas. The first team to toss a banana into our gorilla's hands wins. All right. Wow, this is really weird. Ah, yeah, we... Took a minute, I couldn't even understand how to get it started to begin with, but we'll figure this out. Worth ten dollars. How many brothers does Michael Jackson have? It's it's five, the Jackson five. This question is worth twenty. Alright. Haha. -ha. Alright, fun. This question is worth ten dollars. What's the president of Hoover's it's Herbert Hoover, isn't it? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Herbert Hoover! Let's see how bad I can embarrass myself <laughs> with some of these questions, shall we? Alright, which people have the nickname Mudheads? Um, oh, I, I have never once heard that. Let's dare. I have never heard of a mudhead. Has anybody heard of mudhead? Please comment down below, cause um, I have no clue at all on that one. Like I was thinking Tennessee for some some for some reason. Double dare. Well then. Can I... Physical challenge. Let's just physical... Let's, let's test what this game does. Because I still have no clue. The correct answer is Tennessee? I was right. Okay. It made no sense, but neither one of the other ones were, was actually any particular reason for it to be in there. So I just wanted to do one of these physical challenges. See what happens. Cake catch. Welcome to Double Dare Cake Catch. Your partner is going to launch cakes into the air. You must catch one cake before it hits. By bouncing up and down on your trampoline. All right. Ah, oh, I thought I had that one. You know what? To be all in all, compared to a lot of them, like the the American Gladiator and stuff, so far, once you understand how it actually works, these games aren't terrible, and actually, it does translate decent enough to a video game, to where it's not actually horrible. And Islet is not a short letter. Wow. All right. So, yes, it's a small island. I think we all knew that one. So neither team gets the monies. I want the monies. Actually, I want to play more of the... I want to test out a lot of the mini games. Team man went on his chest. What is the Robin's uniform? Although these questions... Actually, some of these questions are a little bit of a... are, are decent enough. According to what kind of <laughs> Count Dracula. Trouble. Well, actually, it's way worse than trouble. 
It is, trouble is like <laughs> the very uh, yeah no it's it's way worse than trouble. But anyways, which two countries border Lake? Okay, see like <laughs> like you're. On, I I don't know where like you're on. I am not a geography mate. I never liked geography. So some of these questions are actually not horrifically stupidly easy. So we're gonna get another physical challenge because I want to see what it's like. I honestly like the mud head one. I kind of understood and I, I I was pretty sure what it was. This one, honestly, I really don't know. To be completely frank, not a clue at all. Canada, USA. That was for whatever reason the one I was thinking of. But other than just that's just kind of what popped in my head. But I had no clue. Not even remotely close to knowing any of that. We like to toss things on Double Dare. All right, so catch him on your head. All right. Ah. All right, this is a look. These are difficult, though. Like, it, it is very difficult. I think that's the problem with this game. Like, it, it definitely going to take a lot of practice to actually under to get to the point where you can actually do these physical challenges. Black gold is another for oil. Everybody knows oil. Come on now, oil. There you go. Black gold, Texas tea. Anyone that's ever had parents to listen to the Beverly Hillbillies or Weird Al. Beverly Hillbillies. Alright, which is Grandma Moses famous for? Okay, I do not know that one. The correct answer is... Becoming an artist in her late 70s. Alright, yet another... So far, two of these questions I had no clue whatsoever about. The third one... Yeah, I had an idea, but wasn't really sure about it. Which vehicle did Disney's Absentminder... Oh, it's a car. Wasn't it? Yeah. I was starting to second-guess myself for a second there. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was uh, the, the flying car. Half time. All right. I just want to play a couple more of the things. We're just going to play the game through and see what happens. But all in all, as far as a, uh, a tie-in game goes, this is by far probably the best tie-in and by far one of the best uh, <laughs> games this guy, this company has actually made, I think. Like off on them so you golf balls. You'll have to use eggs. The first team to put two eggs into the cup. Wow, okay. Jesus. For some reason... I do not want why my... Uh, the Doing the speed thing, it, it's not stopping where I keep telling it to. That's, that's an issue that I'm having with this. Chicago... Uh, 25 stories? Oh, I was way off. I was just guessing. I had no clue. I just thought nine was too small. So I figured the middle. <laughs> Which long term animal has a different earth pig? It's the aardvark. It... Okay, it, it's definitely an aardvark, but I want to do a physical challenge. So we are going to keep double daring. Well, hopefully, I guess that kind of got to be careful on that because they can just answer it. Which they did, of course. So I guess that kind of worked against me. I was expecting them to do it again. All right. Eh, who cares if I win or lose? I'm just, we're just playing the game. How many coins would you have if you added $10 in nickels and $10 in dimes?
That'd be 300. Uh, should we? I, I'm gonna chance it and see if they actually do the right one or not. Because I want to play the games more than I want to answer the questions. I mean, it's 300. No, it's that's that's all that you get in ten in dimes is ten dollars is a hundred dimes. That's three hundred. Yes, we already know that. That one was basic. It was pretty easy. I don't want the money. I want physical challenge. Grr. We want to play more of these games and try to get the hang of them. Which is the top color for? Well, you know they're going to answer. I mean, they can't not answer this one, right? Like, seriously? So there's no point in wasting time. Let's move on to the next one. What is a gadfly? Um, yeah, not a clue. I want to say an annoying person. <laughs> But that one, not a clue at all. I was right. How they knew that, I don't know. I don't think that's a question for kids. What kid are you going to ask off the street and go, Hey, what's a gadfly? And they know what it is. But some of these questions are quite interesting. How many of you have guessed all these right? William Whipple, France, Lightfoot, Lee, and Button were all signed by which famous document? <laughs> the check for E.T.'s phone bill. <laughs> the Magna Carta. Alright, it's the Magna Carta, but we're going to double there. We're going to see if we can get... Uh, a physical challenge here. Hopefully they don't answer. Come on, physical challenge. Don't do that one. Okay, I was wrong. I thought that was... Alright. My bad. I never really cared too much for American history, and it shows. Use efforts for peace in his troubled country. Again, this one, not a clue. There are some crazy questions on here. It is quite funny. I think the only time I've ever actually seen a good, uh, silly answer was uh, <laughs> signing for E.T.'s bill. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. I want another physical challenge. It's the whole point of me playing this game is to see about the physical challenges. I don't give a crap about the actual. So they actually, later on, they just start answering all the questions. I don't know why they don't do the physical challenges. That one I had no clue. Wasn't even gonna guess that that one didn't know. All right, I just wanted to play some of the games. The American Academy of Dentistry took a survey in 1987 to see how much money the Tooth Fairy left under a pillow. What was the average? Yeah, in 1987, there's no way they're averaging $5. That's just not gonna happen. And again, we might as well. Which country are Porsches and BMWs made? I'll just see what happens when we go through all these. That's the end of the game. I guess this would be a lot of fun if it was with other friends that you could do anything with so you can get more of the challenges. Otherwise, it's a. It's a, it's a decent but somewhat mediocre question game, but made more fun by the physical challenges. So, all in all, like I said, as far as a tie-in game goes, 
definitely, definitely one of the best ones. And as far as this game company goes, Game Tech, like, this is by far Game Tech's best game that I can think of off the top of my head. So, um, definitely, definitely not a, a, a stinker as like most of these are. So, alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.